Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lung Pamai, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Notify Icon Class in your VSTO project. There are multiple ways to achieve this, and I'll be showing you a couple of them today. The Notify Icon object can be used to show a notification in the taskbar. For example, you can alert users that the app was loaded successfully. Uh, this is typically used for processes that runs in the background and does not show a user interface much of the time like an antivirus application in a computer is, uh, is a good example uh, if you want to include a feature like this in your VBA project please check the video description below for the link and before we begin if you haven't please do not forget to subscribe for the latest updates and to support my channel and also if you want me to make more of these videos not forget to leave a like and comment as well let's get started so this is the project we created in our last video. Basically, we have learned how to refer to workbook, uh, sheets, range, um, filter, copy visible cells, paste them. It's uh, very simple, but we have learned a couple of important things, uh, the interlope and then the global uh, object as well that we'll learn. So taking a step further, um, we'll learn now to add um, a notification in the system tray down here, okay? So uh, I'm sure you have seen like, uh, you know, like antivirus, you can also add a custom menu to this as well and then show up a message here in this area. So let's try that now. First of all, I'm gonna go to a ribbon, okay? From here, once you click on this or you press F7, it'll take you to code editor, shift F7 will take you to designer. Okay, so once you're here, from the toolbar search for notify and then once you find it just drag any of this is the same and then once you drag here you'll see that notify icon one has been added okay this object has been added you can also manually configure uh, for example the icon that you want to show the text the title here as well here's the icon and then the text as well but instead of that let's um, you know like uh, assign those on runtime so go to this workbook uh, you know like code editor and then from here we can start referring to you know like the, this object uh, so let's start with and then we'll use globals and then um, ribbons dot and then you refer to this ribbon one and then notify okay icon one now from here we can say uh, first let's say we want to assign a title and then this could be VBA A to Z notify demo or something like that and then next can be um, again boolean uh, text now let's say that um, let's say Excel app was uh, success fully loaded okay check the tray for more options something like that and then now we can also specify icon and then from here we can assign uh, a new uh, drawing icon so let's use system uh, drawing icon and then here you can specify the path okay now for the icon i have made a sample icon here i'm gonna copy this uh, to the app directory so once you select your app and then you see the project folder is accessible from here i'm gonna run this path so these are the files now i'm gonna copy this icon to project folder you can also point to the you know like other parts but just to keep everything in the resource so that if you want to download it later now coming back to our project here i'm going to specify the part okay so this is going to be the icon now um, you can also specify the the, the tip icon and then this can be um, like a warning or uh, it could be um, like an uh, information okay so tool tip icon dot and then here you can select um, based on your requirement okay so let's select information for now and then so boolean tip here you specify um, the timeout how long you want to show it 
So let's say we want to show it 5000 for 5 seconds and then dot visible equal to true. Okay, now if you want to use a uh, custom menu as well, uh, you can specify uh, here dot custom sorry dot context menu and then you can specify it here okay you can link it here now let's start this up and see if it works so control f5 Okay, so finally starting up. So you can see here is our notification, VVA to Z notify demo, and then this is the message. Here, this is the the info, the type of a notification, and then it says it here. Now, if I click here, nothing happens. Once you go inside the tray, you see that this is the notify icon we have created, but as such, there is no menu. For example, this antivirus. Once you right click on it, you see this, um, you know, like uh, context menu. So we can also add those. Now I'm going to close this. Now let me also quickly show you how to add this on runtime without using this object. I'm going to comment out this block of code. You can use this or you can hit Control K and Control C. Okay, that will just comment it out. Now let's declare two variables. Um, first one public. Let's call this context. Um, let's call this menu X as new context. Sorry, context menu. Okay, and then second will be. Um, let's call this notify X. That will be the notify icon as new notify icon okay now we let's say that we want to add three menu called um open close something like that like uh let's say show hide exit something like this okay now when these menus are clicked we will add a handler to run a certain code okay now for that first let me add a dummy code here private sub and then let's call this uh, show so click something like this and then message box so similarly we'll do it for show exit this will just return our message box for now and then hide okay so now we have three codes so click hide click and then exit click um, now with this menu dot menu items and then here we're gonna add um, a menu and this will be first will be the index and let's start to create a new object within this this will be menu item and now we can specify the label uh, let's call this show and then um, here we can add the handler okay on click as you can see here um, new even handler and then here you can refer to the name of the code uh, for now let's use this and then me dot and then show click okay i think that should do now we have this ready let's replicate for the others sorry the index will be starting from zero and let's call this hide exit and then me dot hide click and then exit click okay 
So now our menu has been custom menu has been created, and then sub menu has been uh, added with uh, event handlers. Now we'll um, set up our notify icon. Now with the notify icon, we can use exactly almost the same thing here, like this. Now I'm gonna control K, control U to uncomment, and then we can say with this notify icon we want this to be the title this one to be the text same icon and then this everything is same and then um, now we can link this uh, menu for example here our contacts menu equal to you can specify menu x like that okay now let's load this up and see Control F5. Starting out. Okay, nothing seemed to happen, though you can see. Oh, sorry. There is a tray, and once you right click, you see that there is um, show hide. So once you click on show, show click. So at least this is uh, working. The menu is working. Uh, even handler is working. But the tip was too fast, either or uh, it didn't show up, the bullying tip. Let's check that again. Now this seems to be just the order of it. Um, I'm gonna bring this up here. This one actually really doesn't matter. Um, and now this boolean will come after it's visible. Let's make this lesser, not 50,000, 5,000. Okay, let's start this up again. Control F5. So you can see down here the notification uh, tray is on. And if you go inside the tray, you'll see there is um, the icon that we assign. Uh, you can even uh, uh, add a text. For example, here you can see there is a text. Now, once you right click, you can see show, hide, and exit. Okay. Now you can specify uh, functions to that. Um, now the last thing we can add is dot text is equal to um, let's say right click on icon for more options something like that or you can specify the name of the app something like this excel app something like that now relaunching it so here's the the message and then if you go here there's our menu once you hover upon it you see there's excel app you know like the tip there Okay. okay guys, that's gonna be all for this video. I hope uh, it was informative and it'll help you. Uh, if so, do not forget to leave a like and if you have any questions, do comment below and then I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. I'll be doing more videos on um, task pane, user control, um, you know, like there are so many things that we can learn. Uh, we'll do more topics regarding Excel and databases, working with server and so many things. So, once again, thank you for watching and then I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.